As the electoral spectacle of Maharashtra and Jharkhand rolls on, the nation now readies for Diwali's glow. Citizens of this country are eagerly anticipating the customary sweets and fireworks. Yet, the political firecrackers have already started to light up the sky. With November 23rd looming, expect the uproar to intensify. In today's poll wrap, we spotlight on two key developments. First, the MVA hurls into unprecedented voter fraud allegations at Mahayuti. While in Jharkhand, the Yadav clan's frustration with Soren and Congress simmers. So, without wasting further time, let us begin. Ahead of the Maharashtra Assembly polls, the opposition Mahavikas Aghadi MVA has now accused Mahayuti government of suspiciously deleting the voters' name from the voters' list in the constituencies where MVA is having a substantial lead if we talk about the former Lok Sabha results. Showing some evidence, the MVA claimed that at least 2,000 to 10,000 names are being removed in each constituency. Speaking to the media in Mumbai, opposition leaders demanded that the election commission must not accept form number 7 and discontinue the online application which facilitate the deletion of voters' names. The Shiv Sena leader of the Uddhav Bhalasab Thakre clan, Sanjay Raut, stated that there are discrepancies in the voter list in Bharashtra and Jharkhand. They tried in Haryana as well and we defeated them in Lok Sabha and so now they are losing in Vidhan Sabha election as well. They are now opting for such tactics. Take a look yourself what Sanjay Raut stated. There are ऐसे हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र से 10000 वोटर्स को निकाल देंगे डिलीट कर रहे और उनके जगह पर 10000 बोगस वोटर्स को डाल रहे हैं क्योंकि हमारा दो जीतने की संभावना है वो कम हो जाए क्योंकि काटे की टक्कर है कुछ जगह पे ये सबसे बड़ा घोटाला हमारे लोकतंत्र में चुनाव आयोग के मदद से होने जा रहा है हम ये मुद्दा सिर्फ देश में नहीं इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफार्म पर भी लेके जाएंगे कि देश में क्या हो रहा है ये गांधी नेहरू का देश है ये डॉक्टर बाबा साहब अंबेडकर का संविधान मानने वाला ये देश है ये लोकतंत्र किस तरह से ये लोग खत्म कर रहे हैं चुनाव आयोग गृह मंत्रालय के अखितारे में आता है तो मुझे लगता है उसके लिए जिम्मेदार अमित शाह जी है Coming to the Jharkhand Assembly elections right around the corner, now the opposition in the bloc is now facing a walkout by one of its key allies. Although it has not happened yet, but it looks like that it may happen very soon. After Jharkhand's Chief Minister Hemant Soren announced that Indy Bloc's seat sharing agreement is finalized, Lalu Prasad Yadav and Tejasvi Yadav's RJD found itself having to vie for just 11 seats. With the left and other allies as the Congress and the JMM decided to fight in the 70 constituencies alone. Hemant Surain announced this decision after a meeting with allies including RJD. Some of the leaders will be in the same way. We are the leaders of our Mahagadbandhan. And in the same way, we will be able to increase our work in the future. यार ये तो सुना है कि एक हफ्ते महीना पहले तय कर लिया गया था। जैसे नॉमिनेशन शुरू हो गया है, तो मतलब कब तक हो जाएगा? अभी समय है ना नॉमिनेशन का? सर ये एकासी की एकासी विधानसभा में इस बार हम भारतीय जनता पार्टी को उनको डब्बे में बंद करेंगे। However, the representative from the RJD and left parties were missing during this announcement. This sparked a serious concern among the unity of Indi Alliance. Anyway, after the Haryana outcome, the fragmentation issues have re-erupted in the Indi Alliance as we also saw what is happening in Maharashtra, where the allies are having serious doubt that whether Congress should engage in a direct clash with Bharati Janta Party or not. Don't miss out. Log on to oneindia.com for more updates.